pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Yorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. Aye, that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Proventus Avenici? He's the Jarl steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. Thanks. Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. got small weapons as well as big. Maces, daggers, that sort of thing. Adrian, at her forge, just outside. Place is named after her. War Maidens. It's a childhood nickname given by her father. What I hear, she was playing with swords even back then. Anyway, our wares are strong and the price is fair. What else matters? That'll be the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. He's an honorable enough man. Never done wrong by me or my kin. Things are tough for him now, I'd wager. What with the fighting and the dragons. But Balgruf's a tough old Nord. He can handle it. Take a look. Good doing business with you. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Dragons I can handle. But this talk of dragons? World gone mad, I say. What is it? They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King. With his voice. Shouted him apart. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Need supplies? See Belathor at his store. Sleazy little man, but he has good stock. Need a blade? You should talk to Adrian at the forge. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. 
I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. What do you need? Helgen. Destroyed by a dragon. Hard to believe, isn't it? You look tired, friend. The bannered mare has beds for rent. Thinking of settling in? There's a house for sale. Free's home. You should talk to the steward up in the keep if you're interested. What is it? What is it? Be glad you're here in the city, and not out in Riverwood. Those poor sods don't even have a wall. Staying safe, I hope. Hello, friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Yes, I hear that question often. My brother Anorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming... rather too much mead. After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. He shot an arrow that pierced my... well, rump. After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. Try Holda, the innkeeper at the Bannered Mare. It's just up the road near the market. You should check in at Dragon's Reach, too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. An archer, eh? I've got just what you need. Thank you very much for your business. Blade and shadow, silence and death. These are my art. For a modest fee, I'll make great art for you. I know nothing of fear and nothing of remorse. Pay my fee and together we will vanquish any foe. I am an artisan painting in strokes of blood red upon the canvas of life. But yes, I will take coin to fight at your side. After all, where is the value in creating art if there is nobody left alive to see it? If you change your mind, seek me out here. Walk always in shadows so that you will see your foes before they see you.
Are you feeling all right, dear? You look a little ill. Maybe some other time I'll reveal your destiny, hmm? Tea leaves, palm reading, crystal scrying. Ooh, maybe... Let me know if you see anything you like. I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. Come by Bellathor's shop at the market. I'm sure we've got something you need. Yeah. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her Don't in a second. Don't mean to be rude, but I'm too busy to talk right now. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a little joke. Isn't it obvious? Why, the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. Ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. Interesting, to say the least. What with all that's been going on. On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well... Elevated prices. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every septum. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Do come back.
Everything's for sale, my friend. You need visit no other shops today. No offense, but you're not looking so good. Are you feeling ill? Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing? And what of my son, hmm? What of Thorold? If you need you potions, you should try Arcadia's cauldron. About suffering. Your son chose his side, I and he chose poorly, mother. and now Suffered he's gone. Such is the way it's of war. The sooner you accept work. his loss, the better. I will never accept his death. Cause trouble in White Run, lives, and I'll follow you in into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. So tell me, Battleborns, where is he? Where are you holding my four out? <laughs> Do you believe this old hag? Holding him? Why, I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. Face it, Cal. Your stupid son is dead. He died a storm cloaked traitor. And you, you. Best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, father. There's nothing more to be said here. All I can think about is my son, my Thorold. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. You'd do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? About the same as everyone else? They're the cat folk of elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. Way I hear it, Elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. Yeah, these Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Reputation, mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. Farewell. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Well met, Traveler. What brings you to Whiterun? Oh, Sadia. Yes, Mom? Truly? Don't forget God. to polish those By sure, this city could use oh, more like you. Me. Best head up to Dragon's Reach, then, and see the Jarl. He's Lord of Whiterun, and can set you on the path. <coughs> Aye, that I do. Half all my life. We Battleborns have been here since the beginning, along with the Grey Manes. Our family's been close as kin for generations, but Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising has divided us. Now, seems we can scarce look at each other without coming to blows. Petty and foolish, that. They are saying dragons have returned to Skyrim. Now that there. That's a real problem. 
Ain't sure if they're taking on new members. But you should talk to the companions. They're over in their hall. Your Vasker. If by work, you mean testing your steel in bloody battle. Ah, <laughs> the most important question of all, that one. You'll want the bannered mare. See old Hulda. She'll keep you swimming in mead. But mind the bard, Mikael. Ponzi little milk drinker, that one. Ah, man gives bards a bad name. We Nords have a long history as warrior poets. I am proud to count myself among them. But Mikael, he sings only for gold and the affections of wenches. He dishonors our traditions. May your sword be sharp and your tongue sharper. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? What can I get you? Magic is for the weak. Elves, I mean. They keep to that college in Winterhold. They know their place. Of course, there is Sparengar. He might be the Jarl's wizard, but at least he's a Nord. I assume you saw the Gildergreen? Big tree, all burnt up, in the middle of the Wind District? It's part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want Danica to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. People say there is someone in Riften that can change your face, make you look completely different. Do you believe that? The companions in Jorvasku? They're recruiting new members from what I hear. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. <laughs> I should have guessed as much. Your kind sticks to that college in Winterhold, as well they should. You'd never think to learn from a Nord like the Jarl's wizard. Take a look. I'll show you to your room, right this way. The security in Whiterun is terrible. Shameful is what it is. Let me know if there's anything else you need. <coughs> I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? You look worse than I feel. Gods in this city are all lazy hmm? and undisciplined. Things oh, thank you. Change. Divines, bless your kind heart. It's... It's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since... Since Mama. Since she died. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. 
said I wasn't good for anything. I wound up here, but I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. Bye. I ain't done. What? Why are you looking at me? Only if I can help it. But damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey, in the Bannered Mare, there's this bottle of Argonian ale. The good stuff. Get it for me. They won't even know it's gone. Come on. Then we got nothing more to talk about. Sure, whatever. The security in Whiterun is terrible. Shameful is what it is. <sighs> Commander Caius. <laughs> Walks around Dragon's Reach like a preening rooster. I could do his job blindfolded. Need something? Hmm? Need something? Hmm? I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. There's a whole college up in solitude where they teach the arts. Song, lute playing, poetry. I studied there myself. Had to leave over a misunderstanding with a headmistress. Well, more a misunderstanding with her husband. I'm a bard, trained at the bard's college in solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. Sure. What can I do for you? Only true Imperials request that one. Need something? We drink to... Our youth today's come and gone. For the age of aggression... You want to hear a little Nord wisdom? You don't really know a woman till you've had a strong drink and a fist fight with her. Think you can go blade to blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. The heat of the battle is the fire that forges the strongest blades. It's an old Nord proverb. That and a true Nord never misses a chance to test her worth. You've been talking to those companions? Too hot-headed, they cried. Weak, pathetic cowards, the lot of them. It wasn't my fault. I told them over and over that it was an accident. They wanted me to prove my worth. So they threw me up against a young whelp of a lad, hardly old enough to grow his first chin hairs. I guess they thought a woman wasn't strong enough to hurt him. I didn't mean for him to die. Why would I want that? I just... I just lost control. And why not? I could beat anyone in this city, barehanded. A hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. Just fists. No weapons, no magic, no crying. Let's go. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Someone do something. Do something. Ah! No! Huh. 
that it? That your best? Just a scratch. Yeah. Skyrim belongs to the north. Yeah. You're no liar. Best fight I've had in years. There you are. If you ever need another blade at your side, just ask. Wouldn't mind seeing how you handle a few trolls. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. If it's work you're looking for, Hulda's the one to talk to. Depends. Are you thirsty, hungry, both? Now please, no more questions. Bits and baubles for sale, right all crafted by the best sale. blacksmith in Skyrim. I'm right behind you. Can you close up the sand early today, Mama? 
I'll show you what I know. What do you want me to carry? Let's get going then. I'll show you what I know. Because it's always true. I'll show you what I know. I need trinkets. What do you want me to carry? Lead on. Tired of bread and stew. I had enough of fish and fire. A lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Hulda. Farewell. They say there's no thank you. This should turn that old cat's gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving you a raw trade. See you. Funny you should ask. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. But that bard is the worst. You've got no idea. Half the men in White Run have proposed to me. Some were even single. They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. I'm sure they would love Take a look. We've never had any reason to deal with those caravans. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables every day. I work Come with to my chat mother. With an old Sell woman. fruits and vegetables. Do it's your fun good most days. For the day. the hard work. Shiny trinkets for your good Tired of bread Do you get to the cloud district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Oh, it took years, but I earned my way to the top. I own Chilfero Farm, you see. Very successful business, obviously. Don't take this the wrong way. I actually way. advise the Yarl on political simply. matters. My input is invaluable, of course. But this is all probably a bit over your head. It's hmm. a fine day with you around. Did you know there are some fruits that actually grow better in the cold weather? What do you do? All I can think about is my son, my Thorold. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Those battle born, they're in with the Imperials. They know it too, and yet they lie to my very face. I just, I just know it. I can feel it in my heart. You have to believe me. Please visit me at my home. I can tell you the whole story. The finest cuts. My friend Maven and I... Have you met Maven in Riften? We know our place in this world. Know the place of others, too. Make it quick. <laughs> the finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. Oh, yes. 
Hunting is my great passion. That's why my brother and I opened a shop to sell hunting supplies. It's the drunken huntsman down by the main gate. He tends the store, and I've got this stall. Good hunting. Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed for the day. Your children, your very lives, and what does the Empire do? Nothing, nay, worse than nothing. The Imperial machine enforces the will of the Dalmor against its own people. So rise up, rise up, children of the Empire, rise up, Stormcloaks. Embrace the word of mighty Talos, he who is both man and divine. For we are the children of man, and we shall inherit both heavens and earth. And we, not the elves or their toadies, will rule Skyrim forever! Talos the mighty, Talos the unerring, Talos, the unassailable, to you we give praise. We are but maggots, writhing in the filth of our own corruption, while you have ascended from the dung of mortality, and now walk among the stars. But you were once man, I, and as man, you said, let me show you the power of Talos Storm Crown, born of the North, where my bread is long winter. I breathe you look now. sick. I hope it's not contagious. I reshape this land which is mine. I do this for you, Red Legions, for I love you. I love, love. Even as man, great Talos cherished us, for he saw in us, in each of us, the future of Skyrim, the future of Tamriel. And there it is, friends, the ugly truth. We are the children of man. Talos is the true god of man, ascended from flesh, to rule the realm of spirit. The very idea is inconceivable to our elven overlords. Sharing the heavens with us? With man? Ha! They can barely tolerate our presence on Earth. Today, they take away your faith. But what of tomorrow? What then? Do the elves take your homes, your businesses, your children, your very lives? And what does the Empire do? Nothing! Nay, worse than nothing! The Imperial Machine enforces the will of the Dalmor again! its own people there's a rift here in sky so right. can't you have come magic nor you have come to hear the word of talos because the so-called emperor is a coward that's right i said coward oh yes he agreed to banish the worship of talos at the tip of an old mary sword they called it the white gold concordat well I call it blasphemy. A true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero. Not at any price. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here. And in Skyrim, 
we will never forsake mighty Talos. <laughs> Let them come. I have no fear, for Talos is my ally, and I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips, his voice in my throat. Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of the voice. And with it, he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Septim. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord name. So great was his reign in life. When he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. Trust in me, White Run. Trust in Heimsker. For I am the I chosen of nothing. Talos. I alone have been anointed by the Ninth to spread what? Are you his looking at? holy word. Terrible, powerful Talos. We, your unworthy servants, give praise. For only through your grace and benevolence may we truly reach enlightenment. That Heimsker's crazy. Him and his talk of Talos. We should just shut up. You ascended, and the eight became nine. You walked among us, praying Talos. Not as God, but as man. But you were once man. I, and as man, you said, let me show you the power of Talos. Are those two at it again? Oh, just keep moving. Don't wear them out. Nice. Ah! Oh. Get him. What are you waiting for?
another way. I, we used to be fast friends. Though it was long ago. We were two of the city's oldest and most respected clans. If we could trace our histories all the way back to East Grimoire's companions. But then Olford got rich and decided he and his kin were too good for us simple, backwards Nord folk. When the troubles began, he took the Empire side. We haven't spoken much since then. Oh, we've got an old saying. The Grey Manes have lived in Whiterun since the first snows fell in Skyrim. Well, maybe that's not entirely true. But our clan's got a long and proud history in this old. We respect the old ways, the Nord ways. The Grey Mane has worked the Skyforge since before the time of my grandfather's father. Oh, they used to be something. Nowadays, they just squabble amongst themselves. Take my advice and keep away. You look too smart to get caught up with this bunch. Well, when you get to be my age, you don't remember why you did much of anything. Only that it happened. Aye, they're an old clan like ours. But they cast their lot with the Empire when the uprising began. Olford Battleborn made his money from farming and got himself some new friends among the Empire's nobles. Now he's in the Emperor's pocket like the rest of them, with no regard for honor and tradition. I was done talking anyway. I haven't seen you before. What are you staring at? A man of my station has many debts. I'm not much use at labor or learning, but I can throw a punch with the best of them. The companions let me fight for gold, and so I fight. In charge of what? I'm in charge of me, and you're in charge of you. If you're looking to join up, Codlack's the one to be talking to. We're the best damn fighters in Skyrim. At least, some of us are. Until next time.
need something? I had a bad time a few years back, and I turned to drink. But Vignar, he wouldn't let me stay weak. To hear Vignar tell it, a bunch of layabouts and useless whiners who used to know how to fight. But he thinks everything used to be better. I, for one, would trust any companion with my life. Oh, I'm not a companion myself. I just helped Vignar. He took me in when I was having a tough time, and, well, I owe him. And we've done as much as we can to prepare for that. But remember, White Run is home to the Companions. Any dragon that comes here will get more than he's bargained for, I think. Farewell, my lady. My getting tired of hanging around, talking all day. The Companions are my family. We fight so that other people don't have to. We bring honor and glory to ourselves and each other. Vilkas and I have been here since we were little whelps. Our father Jürgen raised us here. Even Vigner couldn't remember companions younger than us. Too confusing for me. Empire, Nords, Talos, who cares? Just tell me who needs bludgeoning. Kodlak is the one who figures out who can be a companion, so talk to him. It's out of my hands. Mm-hmm. I am oh, just a servant, dear. You want to talk to one of the companions, I'm sure. Watch it! What kind of weapon do you prefer?
I like the smaller, quicker blades. Yes, you're very fond of saying that. You know I like hammers and axes. Aren't they slow? I can get in and out before you have one swing. Let's test that out. I've got your back. All right, what is it? What do you need? Okay, got it. Anything else? We heading out? What do you want me to carry? I'll just be here then. Ready to get, let's get going.
But I still hear the call of the blood. We all do. It is our burden to bear. But we can overcome. You have my brother and I, obviously. But I don't know if the rest will go along quite so easily. Leave that to me. Another ambitious visitor. You think you can just wander in here and join us? You'll hear some of the brighter faces around here talk about honor and glory. I've got nothing against it, but for me, the promise of coin is what feeds my blade. Wherever someone in Skyrim doesn't feel up to defending their own honor, we'll take up their burden. To hear Farkas tell it, our father raised us here as happy pups, running around, biting knees. I love my brother, but his brains are not his strong suit. We were brought here by Jürgen. Whether he was our father or not, I don't care. He left to fight in the Great War and never came back. So he's not my problem anymore. We've been here as long as either of us can remember, though. So try to show some respect. There are always good reasons to fight. I just wish this war had them. Who cares who worships what dead god? Give me something to make me draw my sword. I don't know if you're capable, and I don't have time to find out. If Kodlak will vouch for you, I might have some work you could do. Until next time. A stranger comes to our hall. Your question carries more weight than you may know, newcomer. The sort of thing some of us spend our lives pondering. The difference between a noble band of warriors and a ragged bunch of assassins is as thin as a blade's edge. I try to hold us to the right path. Like most of our band, I found this family after losing my own. I traveled the length and breadth of this land, learning all I could of the sword and the axe. I was just a boy, but I had the fire of a man in my heart. Eventually, my body caught up to my spirit. My predecessor, Asgard, found me in Hammerfell. I was serving as a bodyguard for some weak-necked lord out there. He brought me back here, and I realized that I was actually coming home. I worked to bring honor to this family, and to the family that I lost. For my mother, my father, and my grandfather. For all my S.H.I.E.L.D. siblings. Family and honor. That's what it means to be one of us, girl. Politics are something best avoided. I prefer more personal confrontations myself. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Mm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting her. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in your vasker for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies, but perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle? That may be so. This is Vilkas. He will test your arm. Vilkas, take her out to the yard and see what she can do. I.
be dead if not for Vignar. He took me in and helped me turn my life around. I ain't much for talking. The Skyforge? I, my clan fathers, have worked it since the first Grey Mains came to Whiterun. Skyforge steel is all the companions will use, for good reason. Are you blind, girl? I'm a blacksmith. Any halfwit could see that. By Izmir's beard, I ain't one for humor. You know who the companions are, so quit your asking. Why? Who says I have to be? Skyforge Steel is my art and honor. The companions need the best, so they come to me. Gods be praised. Mm-hmm. It's a shame, isn't it? The Gilder Green, yes. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. More of a problem for the pilgrims than for me, but not many of them around anymore. To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim, maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die, they only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it, not with any normal metal. Elder Gleam is older than metal, from a time before men or elves. To even affect it, you have to tap into the old magic. You'll have to deal with the Hagravens. I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The Hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. So, have you gotten Nettlebane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? Indeed. The temple here in the city is my charge. The goddess's divine blessings have no doubt helped make Whiterun a thriving and prosperous city. After all, it is she who brings rain to our crops and fair weather on the harvest days. Somewhat, yes. At first it seemed a distant thing. Heard only in the idle speech of guards and traders. When the wounded soldiers began to return from battle, I did what I could to help them. 
As more of the sick and injured came to the temple, my work as a healer became more important than my duties as a priestess. I wish only an end to the fighting, so that I can tend to the temple once more. May Kinareth's winds blow you to fortune. I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thief's den. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So, have you gotten Nethelbane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. Sapphire! I just want to go home and read. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. My Sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the White Run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. No, I'm not. Looks like we've got something in common then. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. I can teach you a few things. If you find that sword, please bring it to me. You're the best. Can you be my mother? Yeah? My body burns. Need something? So sick. Get up. At least stand in. So, have you gotten Nettlebane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? Battleborn, give me your money. I... I don't have any money. You better give me five septums right now or I'm gonna bloody your nose. Ten septums tomorrow, baby Battleborn, or I'm gonna bloody your nose and your lip. No, please! I really don't have any money, Braith. I'll give you ten septums tomorrow. Just don't hit me.
I spend so much time among the dead, I sometimes forget how much I miss the company of the living. Tell me, do you believe in mighty R.K., god of life and death? I see. Well, perhaps you'll take pity on a humble priest who has lost something precious. My amulet of R.K. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. I fear the dead have become restless. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. The blessing of R.K. be upon you. I spend so much with this terrible war, I'm a... Oh, thank R.K. Please, take this gold for your troubles. And the blessing of R.K. be upon you. Excuse me, but I'm trying to read. Nothing like a good adventure or romance to lose yourself in. I import books whenever I can. 
Most Nord works are too bawdy and violent for my tastes. My daughter Braith says I read too much. Play with me, mother. Girls need to learn how to take care of themselves. Really, I wish my girl would read more. It would certainly keep her out of all those fights. Make it quick. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Make it quick. I ain't asking for much, just a few septums.
It's not easy being a woman in Skyrim, I know. But stay strong, and men will come to respect you, and maybe even fear you. Can a man have a bit of privacy? Get out of here! Look at you, up to no good! Heading out, let's get going.
Welcome to our home. Mother, what's the meaning of this? Who have you brought into our home? Adelstein, put that down. She's here to help us find Thorold. How do we know she's not spying for the Battleborn? This was foolish. We can't trust anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here? I can't take any more of this. No weapons, please. Let's just talk. All right, Mother. So, you're here to help? I know that Thorald's not dead. I just know it. The Imperials have him and are keeping him somewhere. But I don't know where. Those damned Battleborns. They know something. They're hiding it. They practically taunt us with it. They must have some sort of proof. There's gotta be something in that house of theirs. I just know it. I don't dare leave the house myself. So I need your help. I knew it. Let me see. Please. The Thalmor. By the Nine. It's worse than I thought. So, North Watch Keep. Then we know where to hit him. I'll do anything if it means saving my brother. You'll join us, won't you? Thorald can't be left to those... monsters. What? You, alone, reasoning with the Thalmor? That's madness, friend. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. I'll give you a chance. But if you can't do it, I will. Forget Please tell me you have Windhelm. news of my son. Was the crown jewel of Skyrim before. It's hardly a secret that they have ties to the Empire and hate anyone who speaks out against it. Thoral did worse. He took action against the Empire, and the Battleborns knew it. He's my son. I just... I feel it in my heart. Oh, you'd understand if you had children. <laughs> I can tell you're new around here asking a question like that. My husband, Eorland, tends the Skyforge up at Yorvaskar. The Companion's Mead Hall. Oh, there's no finer smith in the Nine Halls. You should ask him about his work. It's the only subject that'll get him talking. Well, that and maybe those stuck-up, dung-sniffing battleborns. Don't even get me started on that lot. Huh, they put on airs like there's something special. Oh, sure, they've got money, but they ain't got a shred of honor between them. Grey Mane. Huh, now that's a name fills you with pride. We've got roots in White Run. We've got history. You take care of yourself now. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. If you need any jewelry, just let me know. Please tell me you have news of my son. Please tell me you have news of my son.
Forget Solitude or Windhelm. Whiterun was the crown jewel of Skyrim before... Well, before... Never mind. Please tell me you have news of my son. Hail Summoner. Conjure me up a warm bed, would you? Damn those gray manes to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks, they'll get what's coming to them. Stein Greymane and I were best friends as children. The cold, frightening truth is that the Empire represents progress. Anyone who fears progress is a coward. <laughs> 